Heidi is joining us today to get in the holiday decorating spirit with her embossed glue ornaments. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Eco Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Jeff. Thanks so much. You know, yeah, I just finished just before we went on. It's been cold here. I have a brand new puppy and I had lots of company over the weekend, so it was like mad rush this morning to get everything done. A couple weeks ago, I did these boxes that were uh, made out of um, the hot glue embossing, where you took hot glue embossing. And while I was demonstrating, somebody was asking to see the um, white glue embossing with chalk. So I thought, well, it'd be really cool to take an ornament, an old ornament. You know, some of these ornaments get really tarnished and um, they look really old before you can't use them. So I thought, well, it'd be great to upcycle these ornaments and use the embossing with glue with white glue. So I'm going to get my camera ready and I'll show you how I did it. And also, <laughs> Tiffany doesn't even have a, a, a picture of the exact project since I just finished it. Okay, so here's the ornament that I made. And if, if you look really close, it looks like it's embossed and that's with glue. Now I have another one with a little piece with some holly. And this is these are all done on um, just old ornaments. So first of all, I'm gonna use like a, I have like a tomato paste can. I'm gonna put my ornament on it so it'll hold it. And I've taken my glue and I'm using um, fast grab. Uh, let, me, let me put this in here. Um, I need, when you're doing a round surface, you need a glue that's going to, um, to grab fast or dry fast. So you either use um, fast grab or quick dry on the Aline's Tacky Glue. And you're also going to put a nozzle on with tape. And I'm going to show you really quickly with my tape how to do that. You're going to take a piece of tape and you just kind of put it over the nozzle. And this gives you a fine line. See how you just kind of twist it, twist it, and it gives you a finer line. So that's what I've done right here. So you're going to just start to squeeze it out. And remember, it's been so cold here that it's not my glues, my paint, all that is not squeezing very well. So you're just going to squeeze. And this is one of those flowers. And just keep squeezing. Do whatever you want in your design. And and if you want to do the whole the whole ornament all the way around, you obviously are going to have to let it dry in between. Like that. Now you're going to do all your glue and then you're going to paint the whole thing with white. And I used, um, I used Rust-Oleum, a flat white, because I really like the way it goes on. And this one has been sprayed. It just has some lines. We're getting quite a shadow there from the sun. Okay, so I use chalk. I love this brand of chalk, decorating chalks. I also use um, the Weber Costello pastel chalks. And you can tell mine have been used quite a bit. I've used them over the years. And you're going to take a hard bristle brush. I usually get a stencil brush and I kind of clip it off. And you just put, go into the chalk. Let's see if we can get a color here. That, <laughs> And you just start to apply it. And just rub your, your brush along the lines. The white is with Rust-Oleum. White flat Rust-Oleum bef before you um, put the chalk on. And then go with like a next color. But no matter what your design is, you're going to chalk in your color. And you can always add color on color. And then I kind of blow off the, um, the chalk dust. Let's put a little bit of blue on there. So maybe that'll show better because it sure is, the white sure is getting a hit from the, the, the skylights in here.
and that's as easy as it gets. All you have to do is just wait for a little drying. Now today I did, I was challenged a little bit with um, because I was waiting to the last minute, and so on spray painting my white, I actually was able to after I, you can't you can't dry your glue any faster, so it needs to dry overnight. So what I did when I spray painted my Rust-Oleum this morning, I spray painted this like about an hour ago, maybe not even that. I actually used a hair dryer to dry it, and it worked really good. And then put your um, my chalk onto it. So that is how I did it. Very simple, very um, cool way. You can you could do all Christmas colors. You don't have to do the pastels like I did. Um, Christmas colors, and that's a great way to upcycle your um, old ornaments.